He's starting. I'm eating off him too. Encourage that. So when you guys are into your organizations, you guys come across being creative, right? So when you guys are dropping a project or if you're working on a new event or whatever it is, uh, creative thinking has to come in play, right? We were talking about this the other day. Uh, so my question to you is, how do you, uh, what does it take to be a creative thinker? Because that's something that's extremely difficult to people either. Some people have that gift to be very creative and be able to drop a project right away off the dome. Other people, it's, it's taxing, it's, it's difficult. So what encourages you know, your creative thinking? How do you do it? So this is something I have, I would say, a very personal connection and passion for. Um, I was an English major at the University of Washington. So when you think about English major college, there's a lot of preconceived notions about what it means to major in English, right? Or to graduate with an English degree, what are you going to use with an English degree? Are you going to work at Starbucks? Like, I used to get that. <laughs> so I'm not going to work at Starbucks. Thank you. Uh, you're going to be a teacher? No. You're going to law school? Thought about it, right? A lot of English majors go to law school. It's one of the top pre-law, right? Laws of open field, right? It's one of the one of the academic disciplines that sends a lot of students into that field. And when you think about why they send a lot of English majors into the law profession's the ability to critically think and analyze. It's to interpret anything and to draw a connotation, a connection based off of the context around it. So for me, one thing I realized is the English major at the University of Washington, I said, I wanted to utilize English to your point to be more creative in my thinking, right? And I think for me, one thing that I, that I had realized was when I would be in these classes and I'm reading William Faulkner, I'm reading all these, what they consider historical writers, right? And I'm, and I'm reading the text, I'm reading the context, I'm going, I don't really connect with the narrative itself. I, I was like, I don't understand the context, but when we break it down, there are human elements that you can personally relate to. Think about empathy, grief. These are all things that as human, we experience it, we, and we, we all have a personal connection, just the way in which it shows up is different. So I'll be reading these books, and I'm reading these classes, I'm going, oh, that's, that person's heartbroken. Mm -hmm. But the context that it was situated didn't allow for me to just offer first impression or glance to, to connect that. So the more and more I would take English classes, I'm being able to realize when you read something, you gotta look at the context in which it was created. That was half of what my program was about, is that we were looking to, okay, the Harlem Renaissance influenced Langs and Hughes, right? It was not the converse. It was lived experiences in which writers were telling what was going on. Much of you think about current, you think about the current mainstream, right? Hip hop, rap culture comes from telling stories that are in these communities. That's what writing is. You write from a frame of reference. So the second I began to realize how do you connect with people through narrative, that's one thing that's, that's always sort of stuck with me. And I think about creativity. And I want to make sure I give a shout out to Sean Wong, who was one of my former professors at the University of Washington. He's actually a pioneer of Chinese American literature. Uh, he was a longtime chair of the University of Washington's English department. I remember taking a class with him in the middle of like the bottom of the art building. <laughs> and um, yeah, because you know it's an English program. We don't have our own building. We don't. You know, we've got to find where we can, where we can get in. Right? So I'm taking I'm taking this class in like the bottom, like, the bottom of like some random cafe. And I remember I come in and Professor Wong, like he has this Craigslist ad like pulled up onto the screen. And I'm just like, buying cars? Like what are we uh, <laughs> like what are we doing? You know, what's why is this pulled up? And I remember at that time he had us like read the, the description of the listing. And I remember just reading it off and, and we broke it, we, we, we parsed it, uh, we, we broke it apart. And he, he essentially the, the takeaway was that you're able to draw a connection based on how this individual has spoke and messaged this product, that, there's a, that they're not selling it, right? Or that they're giving it away. And he said, if you want to think about the best writers, the best storytellers, those are the ones who can communicate or convey an emotion without ever directly stating it. 
when you read something and someone says that the person angrily said or begrudgingly did, you're shortchanging the reader experience. You create the context around it and you allow for the reader to then put themselves in that, in that space. So when you think about creative thinking is how do you begin to allow for people to interpret and to be able to think creatively? I think ingenuity, innovation has to type of creativity. Now people are more so resharing than contributing original thoughts. And that's part of the reason I left social or left Facebook initially because I remember a time in which I'm like, these are just people reposting other people's thoughts. And how these aren't even really credible. So you think about where is the originality in your thought process and your thinking, I'm going, that is what's going to be my selling point because in a, in a time in which ingenuity and innovation is increasing, creativity is being stifled. And I think I can take advantage, not take advantage, that's how it's disingenuous. <laughs> I, think, I think I can maximize this opportunity. <laughs>